<laughs> Hi everybody, it's your girl Tay, and I'm back here today, not with a tutorial, but I felt like there was something we needed to talk about. Yes, I'm snacking on chocolate between takes because what I gotta talk about is making me a little upset. No, um, hey everybody, it's your girl Tay, and today I wanted to talk to you about hair typing. And it's kind of a big issue for everybody these days, and I just needed to address it. Clear the air, clear my mind, clear my chest, get everything just set straight for you guys. The big thing is that people keep coming up and asking me, like, oh, what's your hair type? Or they talk about hair type, and really, hair type has nothing literally nothing nothing and I'll repeat again for you in case you didn't hear nothing to do with what kind of products you should use in your hair that means a girl with straight hair who has certain problems can use the same products that a girl with kinky hair with the same problems can use they can use the same thing if they have the same problems the thing you do need to know about is porosity this is the first thing you need to know Everything else you probably already kind of know, or it, it kind of comes second to this. If your hair is porous, that means it it's probably damaged, or it's probably very fine and gets damaged very easily, or reacts to temperatures and things very easily, or some combination of the two. Chocolate is delicious. Anyways, it's just a simple water test. You take lukewarm water, you put it in a cup, you take a couple different hairs, uh, it has to be the whole hair, not a broken off hair, and then you drop it in the water and you wait two minutes and you watch it. And if it stays at the top, that means it's not porous. It's not absorbing any water and it's uh, just sitting at the top. It won't absorb anything. If it sinks to the bottom like a rock, it means it's very porous and it's absorbed by the water and sunk. And if it's either floating on top for a little while and then falling or slowly falling through the water the whole time, their hair is somewhere in between that's considered normal. So, now you know about porosity, you need to know how to treat it. So if your hair is has a lot of damage or for some reason your uh, cuticles are open really wide, you, what you need to do is seal the moisture in. Your hair is absorbent but it's not uh, keeping the moisture. So you want to do things like um, use uh, lipid barriers to hold it in so you know seal after it's been well moisturized and absorbed as much water as it can you put oils and, and and heavier conditioners on it and then you put gels on it those kinds of things lock in the moisture and keep moisture from coming out as well as your thirsty hair trying to absorb the moisture in the air so though you definitely need to use more product you need to use products that will create a lipid barrier and on top of that you need, probably need to do, um, if you haven't already done, a couple uh, protein treatments which kind uh, the amino acids and the protein kind of act as a repair kit for your hair. So any little gaps and holes you know, will kind of patch up and will help your hair be shinier and stronger. And everyone should probably do that. Everyone has a different time frame basically though, depending on their porosity. Uh, so the opposite is true though for non-porous hair. If your hair isn't absorbing water well, you need to use more hot, uh, deep conditioners so that it will absorb it. But then afterwards, you probably don't need as much on top of it to seal it off. Now it really depends on the weather, if it's really dry or where you live. Uh, those kinds of things will affect how much more you need to put on top. But um, usually uh, like a hair milk that is already cold will help close the cuticle and it'll stay, your hair will stay moisturized. So it really depends on your hair porosity. Uh, if you want to find out more information on what kind of hair products will work for you based on your hair porosity and uh, density and coarseness, you can go to my website at thisstylecurls.com and you will be able to find my free ebook which will tell you all of these details in great length. You would reference it anytime, tell you what ingredients you need to depending on how porous your hair is or how coarse it is, those kinds of things. And on top of that, you'll learn some tips on reading the weather, uh, moisture in the air, those kinds of things. All really important things if you want fabulous looking hair. Now, 
Now that we got that out of the way, I do want to touch a little bit on something else, which is kind of texturism. Like, this weird thing where, oh, I want your hair, or I want your curls, or I wish I had your... Like, I think it would be cool, I guess, if my hair were different. Like, I'm sure I would love it just the same. That's how I feel about my hair. Like, I love my hair. I know that other people have judgments on my hair based on the way it is, but it's, um, it's going to be a personal journey. So what you need to do is if you feel yourself being jealous about other people's hair is you need to take a good look at what's going on in your life that's making you not appreciate your hair and take time to take care of yourself and stop judging yourself. Stop, you know, cursing your whatever, your bad luck, whatever it is. When you hear yourself saying that, slow down and stop and say, I'm just lucky to have hair, I need to learn how to take care of it, and I will fall in love with it. And it's totally true. Like It's not like I popped out of the womb loving my texture when I looked around me and everybody else has you know straight flowing hair. It took me a long time to appreciate my hair texture, and I hope that you guys can too. And I would hope you guys stop saying, oh, you know, that hair is bad hair and that hair is good hair. No, oh, it just makes me sick hearing all that. Anyways, if you guys want to talk to me at all about any of these issues, uh, any problems you're having, just let me know. Comment below. You can email me. You can follow me on Twitter, on Instagram. You can Facebook me. Whatever. Whatever you guys need, I'll be there for you. I'll be there. I'll be there for you. Um, so, it's been real, guys. Uh, take care of your hair. Have a great day. Have a great week. Have a great year. Have a great everything. And I'm going to... Finish my chocolate. Bye. 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 So shy. So shy. Come on.